the place where our generosity and the generosity of God, the divine flow, meet is in the Mishkan, the sanctuary that we build in the wilderness. In the book of Exodus, the story of our liberation, God says, Va'asuni mikdash v'shachanti betocham. Make for me a holy place. We build the Mishkan, that holy place, so that God can dwell within us, between us, and among us. We build it with exquisite attention to detail and to beauty. We build that Mishkan in the heart, cultivating a sense of God's presence within, in the body, knowing our embodiment as holy. In our relationships, calling that mysterious presence into the space between us, and in community, inviting God's presence to dwell in our midst. But here's the thing. The Mishkan can only be built through our generosity, not from obligation. In the story, the people are so inspired by this project of building the Mishkan that they, they give so much that Moses has to say, stop already. The center of the Mishkan is the Holy of Holies, the place of intimacy with God, the nexus point between the finite and the infinite. Our spiritual lives is all about building the Mishkan so that we can step inside and receive the divine presence that will sustain us, connect us to our generosity, which is the divine flow. That is what it means to pray, Ahava Rabba Ahavtanu, with such a great love you have loved us. Receiving that love and letting it pour through us to others is the key to becoming generous. When my husband Rachmil and I got married, we knew that our abilities to be generous were limited and flawed. However, both of us had experienced what it meant to stand in the Holy of Holies, the place where the divine flow is flowing, where we can become a channel for that Ahava Rabbah, the great love. And so we vowed to each other, I open to the great love that it might flow through me to you. In cultivating generosity, I ask these questions. How can I connect up to the flow of the great love every day? And what gets in the way? What obstructs the channel? Clearing these obstructions is my responsibility. I'll conclude with this wonderful Hasidic prayer that says, Hineni, osa'atatzmi merkava l'shchina. Here I am, transforming myself into a chariot for the Divine Presence. Hineni, osa'atatzmi merkava l'shchina. Merkava Shrina.